The Pianist by Joan McLeod Deals with the devil always end up bad, no matter how hard you try to set up a fair bargain. I learned this the hard way. And now... And now I'm a monster. Everything I love so dearly has slipped through my hands. Nothing is how it was supposed to be. I was supposed to have her. I was supposed to be happy with her. Now she's gone. And all I have left is this stupid piano. No matter how much I hate this stupid, stupid piano, I'm compelled to play it for the rest of my goddamned life on this earth. I was a well-off woman. I had some money, a nice house, and a nice car. I also had charm. With the number of women I had seduced into my bed. I could have any woman in the world. But I had my sight set on her. Alice. She was such a beautiful woman. Her rich brown locks flowing down in curls and those amber eyes. I cannot describe her beauty with mere words, though I was not her type of woman. I swung from girl to girl while she preferred to stay in a steady relationship. I loved a life of luxury, but yet she was content with living in a small urban apartment. I loved club music while she loved the sound of a classic piano. She didn't know of my existence, and that drew me near to her. She was something I could not have, and so I wanted her so badly. I decided the best way to get her attention was to learn how to play the piano. I know most people would have just tried talking to her or something, but that just didn't seem right to me. I wanted her to admire me, idolize me. So I tried and ultimately failed. Apparently I didn't have the hands of a pianist. I had no musical talent at all. I decided to talk to my friends about this. Of course they laughed at me, telling me I was stupid for trying. But I really wanted her. And the only way I could ever get her was if I knew how to play that damned piano. Then my friend said something that made me think. Don't you know? All those people with talent sell their souls to the devil. <laughs> I know he was joking, but what if? What if there was a chance that I could sell my soul for this musical talent? She'd have to like me now, right? I started to do as much research as possible in summoning the great demon lord himself. Of course, they were loons telling me not to, bad things will happen, and yada yada. I decided to hold the ritual at midnight. It seemed like a good time, and no one would interrupt me. After the numerous incantations, nothing happened. Well, nothing seemed to appear at first glance. There was something there. It wasn't visible, but I could tell it was there. So I asked to make a deal with it. It snickered and laughed, but agreed. I would have musical talent, and it would have my soul in exchange. All I had to do was sign the contract. Simple enough, but that thing was huge. Kind of like the terms and conditions. I simply didn't read it and signed at the bottom. I'd soon learn I should have read it. Damn, I was stupid. As the demon promised, I was amazing. I had so much talent I could read and write music, and it sounded beautiful. I kindly asked the local theater to open the doors and allow me to play my beautiful yet chilling songs 
and surprisingly they agreed. I could remember I was so nervous on the night of my performance. Would she even be there? I couldn't see her in the crowd. Of course she wouldn't be there. I was an amateur. I played for hours and hours. But to me it only seemed like a few minutes. I have to admit it thrilled me to the bone. Cold silence. Was what I was playing not good enough? A sudden clap brought me back to reality. I looked up and I saw her. She was the one clapping, and soon others started to join her. We had a little party and she came up and began talking to me, telling me how much she admired and enjoyed my performance. After that night, we kept in touch almost every day, but as we kept talking, her voice, I could hear her getting weaker and weaker by the days, and stories kept coming up that people started dropping like flies, the people that went to watch me play. This kept happening, and I couldn't do anything about it. I hoped desperately that what was happening to Alice wasn't my fault. That it wasn't what happened to the others, but alas, the poor girl died in her sleep. Doctors didn't find anything wrong with her, and they're not sure about the cause. They simply say she just fell asleep and didn't wake up. I was devastated, but, <laughs> and I still am. The one I love. I finally got her in my grasp. And she just disappeared. I decided to confront this damn demon. I'd make him tell me what the hell was going on. So I summoned him. Somebody didn't read the contract fully, huh? <laughs> Thing just laughed at my misery. But it was right. I didn't read it properly. I didn't read it at all. I asked to see the contract, and it happily obliged. I read the whole thing this time, and that's when I noticed it. I hereby give the client amazing musical talent, but the music that she creates will bring misfortune to all those who listen, including death. I was the cause of her death. It was me. I wanted to stop playing any piano. I didn't want anyone else to suffer under my hands. And so, if you ever wander around an empty theater, and see on stage a lonely pianist sitting at her piano playing beautiful, like chilling music. Cover your ears and calmly walk out. Do not say a word and do not listen to a full song or you'll end up just like the rest of them. Dead. <laughs>